Hello, you are welcome to I Can Make It. I know you can. It's always a joy coming to share talk with you on I Can Make It. Well, if you have been following us for some series now, we have had Dr. Ade come with us. But it has been a joy coming to share thought on I Can Make It. I know you can make it. Before I turn it over to Dr. Ade come, I want to read uh, something we wrote down here. I believe it will bless you. Only you can change your life. No one can do it for you. You know, many times I always tell people, if you know you want to barb your hair, take your hair to the barber shop. Nobody can barb it on your behalf. So you are welcome to I Can Make It, Doc. Thank you, sir. <laughs> it was good to you. Good to barb shop with your hair. I, mean, <laughs> I was, I'm really impressed by that saying. <laughs> you can grab your head. <laughs> can take your head to my shop. They can't grab your head. Oh, yeah, yeah, but anything nobody can happen can, in this day and age. Nobody can do that. So you can't go go that. No, you, you need to, to take your head to that place. You have to check, take your head there. You have to take your head there. You are welcome. Thank you, sir. Okay, what do you have for us today? You know, you have been a joy coming to share thoughts with you. Okay. And it has always been a blessing. So, once we come to the city, I'm always excited having you around. So, let's go. What do you have for okay. us today? Everything doesn't have to be perfect right now. Wow. You know, a lot of times people wait for a perfect condition. Mm. They are waiting for everything to be in place. But mm. one thing you need to understand, you don't have to have everything figured out right at this moment. Mm. It's totally fine not to have everything perfect in your life right now. And there's absolutely nothing wrong with not having your life sorted out immediately. Everyone takes different routes in life and everyone reaches their version of a perfect life at a different stage. Mm. So we need to understand that you don't have everything figured out right now, it's okay. You will get there at the end. Mm. Because you see, a lot of people in life think that everything has to be perfect. Mm. They are waiting for things to be perfect. You no, know, the other day I was saying it's only in physics you find the statement STP, standard temperature and pressure. Mm. Everything being equal. But in life, nothing is equal. Mm. If you are waiting for a favorable condition to take a step, it will never take place. And you, you, I mean, it's just like a farmer waiting for everything to be okay. No, you step out. Mm. You want to start a business, you are waiting for everything to be okay. No, you step out. Whatever it is you want to do in life, you must step out. Mm. Don't wait for everything to be okay. If everything has to be okay, I have news for you, you will never do anything worthwhile in life. Mm. So... You know, uh, just sharing, this thought to share with us is very important. Everything don't have to be perfect. You know, some people say, if all things being equal. Yes. All things can never be equal. It will never be You equal. just need to take the step, and as you take the step, the other step will show up. It will show the up. The next step to take will show up. Oh, yeah. And until you solve this problem, you can never go to the next level. No. Every level that you enter into have another level of challenge oh, yes. awaiting you. So don't wait until every day. You know, there are some people, they want to start business. This is a new year. They want to start business. And he said, eh, if only I have all the things perfect. You know, some time ago, a, a husband and wife actually came for counseling. So after I talk, after I spoken to them, the, uh, the wife said, okay, I'm a pharmacist. And I decided this is encourage. I said, see, you always plan ahead. I said, okay, you, you are a pharmacist. Say, yeah. Do you have a shop? He said, they're looking for a shop. And we don't have the money to stock. I said, you don't need money to stock the shop. He said, why? I said, because once you have, you have a shop already, then go and meet the, the, the retailers. They will supply you. Then you leave, make sure you have everything that they supply you in store. As long as they come and check, it's still there. They know you have not sold it. But if you have them in your shop and you sell it, and at the end of the day, you keep a proper record, they will see you as an athlete. Let. Do you know, not many weeks from there, they got a shop, they started, the next time they sent me, they sent me pictures on WhatsApp, they have a very big pharmacy shop. Even the meeting we were supposed to meet together, they were not chance to come. They are busy. Everything will never be perfect. Now, you want to take that step? Take this step. Take step of faith. You can make it. If you wait until everything is perfect, you might never get there. Oh, yeah. Yes, Doc? No? It's just like a young man who wants to get married mm. and is waiting for every, he wants to have every month, every month cover mm. before he takes steps. He won't take steps. Mm -hmm. But when you take a step, just like you said, God has positioned, what you need to understand is this. There are people that God has positioned to help you in life. Mm. There are people that are waiting, but they will only meet you along the way. You know, it is often said that it's easy to turn a moving vehicle. 
You can't go and turn the steering of a stationary vehicle. Mm -hmm. It will be stiff. Yeah. But when you move, turn the steering of a moving vehicle, it's easy. Now, there are people that have gone, has positioned along your path. You know, it's like the story of Ruth. Yeah. When she went to the um, field of Boaz mm -hmm. to go and reap after the harvest. Mm -hmm. And Boaz made a statement, a remarkable statement. He said to the servants, drop some things deliberately for her mm. to pick as she will be gleaning yeah. after the drop some things. Listen, there are people that God have positioned also deliberately along your path wow. in life mm. of success. There are people that God have positioned to help you, but they will not show up until you move. Okay. Do you know one thing I find out? It's easy to help a man that is already the move than the man you now talk to move. Oh, yes. Because somebody that is already stationed, a stationary person. You know, if, if for example, you are trying right now, you get to the airport, and somebody has already bought ticket, and he said, that I'm not eating this morning. It's easy to say, Jeremy, let's eat. Yes. But the one that does not even know where he's going, does not have ticket, no, he's in his house. He's in his house. So how do you help such a person? So just like what you rightly said, it's, 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 it's more easy to turn a vehicle that is already on the move. Yeah. And so that's how you get help. You can make it. You can succeed. Don't wait until everything is perfect. Don't wait until you have all the money. Don't wait until everything is all right. You know, anybody that wants to help you in life, it's very easy. When somebody is coming and he said, okay, you need 100,000, you already have 80,000 naira. Giving you 20,000 to achieve that, that person wants to be a part of the success story. But if you say, oh, I don't have any money at all, then you are not ready. Because if you really have a vision, there must be something that you are prepared for your journey. So you don't wait until everything is perfect. Everything will not be perfect in life. I believe that somebody is hearing us this morning, and I, do, I think you still have some other things to share yeah. on this matter. Yes, you know, you, you, with the illustration you gave mm. about the pharmacist. Yes. Now, it's true in life because you see, a lot of people are out there who want to start a business, mm -hmm. wants to start something. And oftentimes you hear them, they say, well, I don't have the capital. Mm. I've often said to people, listen, you are your greatest capital. Mm -hmm. You are the capital. And your integrity is the mm -hmm. capital. capital. And if all, I just like that illustration you said. Once you can get a shop, yes. meet wholesalers, yes. meet people that want to sell. Then you they have, have the outlets. Yes. They are looking for outlets. Yes. All they want to know is that can they trust you? Mm -hmm. The moment they give you a little and they know that you will return it, yeah. you are going to return their money. Mm. They are going to open up more for you. Definitely. They are going to open more for you. Mm -hmm. And before you know it, when I had my clinic, I was buying drugs then in Kaduna. And uh, I remember after I was buying drugs for a while, I went at the time and I needed to buy some drugs, but the money on me was not enough. And they said, ah, no, doc, there's no problem. Take them. We know you are coming back. Uh -huh. Initially, they were giving me excess of 10,000. When we moved to 20,000, 50,000, yeah. as much as I want. Now, so when I go there, it's not the amount I have in my pocket that determines what I buy. Now, it's my credibility. Mm. And so I can say, I want this amount. And they just give it to me. Now, if it's someone else, it may, if, so, if I had failed the first time, mm. I wouldn't have gotten the rest. Definitely. So it was my integrity that was now making way for me. It's my name. And that's what I tell people. Listen, a good name is better. A good name is better than silver and gold. Because we're in a period where people run after money. Mm. And they tell you, oh, like the parlance of today, I want to. Want to blow. I want to blow. I, I, they will tell you that I want to. I want to hit. The, I want to do all kinds. You know of those things. kind of no. Somebody say I want to blow, and by the time you know, he start bleeding. Yes. He, he has received the blow because <laughs> so, he actually want to blow, and oh, something yes. has blown him. Okay. And you see, because of this, I want to blow. Are you Are you seeing that recently? Because everything will not be perfect. A lot of young men just believe that everything is just going to be perfect. You start life today. Then you are just 20, then you already stay in a duplex, you already have an aircraft, you already have a limousine, you already have all of those things, you have up to about three, four, five women coming, you think that that's all there is to life. I've often asked people, if God will give you everything you need in your lifetime, what will you be living for? That's it. If God will give you everything, listen to me, life is a process. Take it step by step. You will get there. Actually, it's the process that you have, that actually bring the joy. Not the, not the money in himself. It's the process you use to get it. 
That's what brings the joy. Because you see, when you have money without having the process, it makes you mourn. You will cry. You'll be looking for help. You'll be looking for... That is why you see that a lot of them, at the end of the day, how would somebody want to kill his mother because he wants to blow? You take your mother. Like the story I was reading yesterday, somebody wanted to kill his mother. The mother had to jump through the window because he wanted to blow. Another one tried to force his, remove his mother's eye. Yes, I read that story. There, there was another one that, that came all the way, went to meet his mother. And you see, they always ask you to bring the person you love. And the mother suffers because, you know, father will always shout and scream at you. <laughs> though they think that, and you don't love your father. But your father is your mother that suffers most. Hardly before you can see, say, I'm much among your father, I'm much do you love pass. He said, like, Mama, I like pass. <laughs> then you go after the mother. There was actually one that cut off the mother's head in the farm and brought the head home. He came from Lagos like yesterday, told the father, father what are you doing? He said, I know he just came to come and say how they are doing. In the morning, followed the mother to farm, and the father went somewhere else. Only for the father to come home in the afternoon and saw the boy taking his bath. So he went into the house and saw one bag. Packed. He opened it, he saw the wife head inside the, inside the bag, and the father went and took it to barrel, and that the boy came out from the bedroom, then uh, he gave him the left foot of fellowship. That was the <laughs> end. So the truth is that, you see, you don't need to go to that extra mile to want to get satisfaction. The truth is that everything will not be perfect. But I tell you something, if you hold on, even today, it's like somebody now, you say your name is Adeko, and you want to answer a doctor. There's no problem. You can answer a doctor. When we get to the theater, we know it's a doctor who is, who is adulterated. <laughs> it, it's course, not the so. name. It's, it's not, not the name, name. Not Dr. Adeko, because there are so many Adeko right now. You can even add doctor to your name. It is not the name. It's not. It is the level of that process that he has gone through oh, yeah. that brought that doctor without adulteration that we are talking about. Oh, yeah. A lot of people, what they do is that they just want a doctor. But how the process that make him a doctor without adulteration, you don't want to go through that process. And that is why a lot of people are suffering. A lot of people just want a marriage. You want a fine wife. You want fine children. You want a fine house without going through the process. You want everything perfect. I want to tell you something. Nothing that you see in life today was perfect right from creation. Let me tell you. The microphone we use, the television we have, everything you see, your car, God gave them to us in raw material. Oh, yeah. It is true information that these things pass through that refined product that reformation brought, that brought a refined product that we are now enjoying at the end of the day. We say, oh, this thing is beautiful. It did not come beautiful. It came in raw material. It was not beautiful. It was the information and the ability and the capacity that you have built that come through the process that bring the best out of that. It's very important for us to know be patient, be wise. Know that, hey, this woman, this person's marriage is doing fine. Go and check the work that the woman and the husband have been working on their marriage. It is always green in another person's compound. Don't forget somebody needs to water that flower. Don't also forget that every land grows wheat without fertilizer. But for you to see... It's something that is growing, that there is no wheat. Somebody is diligently somebody, watching after that. Somebody thing. is working on it. Don't look down on your marriage or your family or your children. I was sharing your testimony on radio the day before yesterday. I was talking about Dr. Adeko and the this, this sister that took 30 and 31st in the school. I said, but today is a doctor and the other one is a professor. But if your father have looked down and talked down and, and make you feel down, you won't have been able to step into where you are today. Oh, yes. Now, it's very important for us to know that there is a better life ahead of where we are right now. The place you are right now, yes, yeah, not all there is to life. There is something up there for you. You can make it. Hello, Doc. I know you still have something to share with us. Okay. We'll be looking at, it doesn't matter that the, someone has achieved more than you. Mm. Now, because you see, we are... We're in a world where people are in a rat race. Mm. But you have to understand that. It doesn't matter that they have a bigger salary. It doesn't matter that they have a better degree. Mm -hmm. It doesn't matter that they are looking at getting something, a, a house bigger than you. Mm. Don't compare yourself with others. Mm. Don't compare your hustles to their highlight. 
People want you to see on the outside only mm. what they want you to see. Yeah. Meanwhile, everyone is struggling with something on the inside. Yes, sir. And their perfect ex exterior isn't always as perfect as, as it seems. seems. You are not in competition with anyone else. Don't compare yourself to others, you mm -hmm. know? I love this story I had about the man that he and his wife, whenever they are going out, he will always be opening the door. Mm -hmm. I think you shared it. Yeah, I said it the other day. Now, yeah. And this other woman was fighting with, uh, the husband. let's say, couple A yes. and couple B. Uh -huh. Couple A will always open the door for the wife. Yeah. And then couple B was now fighting with, the wife was fighting with the husband man for not opening the door. Mm -hmm. And then Mr. B went and met Mr. A and said, you've been causing me a problem. You're always opening doors for your wife. Uh -huh. Now, my wife too is demanding. And Mr. A said, no, it's not that I want to open door. It's that my door. That's <laughs> what? <laughs> it's his fault. So I have, I have no money. Open it. I, have I have no money to okay. fix it. I, I can't fix it. So I have to open it gently for her. Now, but you see, when people don't understand this, they, they're in a problem. Mm. Listen to me. Life is in faces. Yeah. I love the one thing, you see. Someone said, know your time, know your face, know your size. Mm. It doesn't matter that you are, you are ahead of me today. Mm -hmm. That does not mean that you'll be ahead of me forever. Yes. That somebody already has something today doesn't mean that you'll be better than me tomorrow. Mm -hmm. When we understand this simple truth, it will, step us, it will stop us from, oh, he has bought this kind of car. Mm -hmm. I must get that car. Oh, he has built their house. And you see people... That's all they are doing all their lives. Mm. So they put themselves in debt. Even what they can't afford right now. Tension. And they, 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 are, they, they are constantly struggling. I remember when we got married. When I got married. I mean, recently I went to visit a young bachelor. And I was in, <laughs> I got to his house. And uh, I mean, there was absolutely nothing in his city room. Yeah. And then, uh, then he just had his bedroom with the bed and all those things. And it reminded me of when I got married. Oh. When I got married, I've always often said the only furniture in my sitting room was the bulb there. See? That's the only furniture. No any other thing in my sitting room. And then in my bedroom, I have my mattress and that's all. But do you know, then I was looking for what to put in the house. Mm. Now I'm looking for where to, to put, put the trees. things. Uh -huh. So now we are moving from one house yeah, to, to another, another, to another. Mm -hmm. Now we are looking for bigger houses. Mm -hmm. Now it's not about what I want to have. Mm -hmm. It is where do I have them. And the things you need. Now. Yes. Now, but you see, if uh, I'm not careful, then I could have struggled my way, push myself into what I can't afford. Push myself, I must have this. I must have that. Listen, the life of a man is not based on what he has. Yes. Your life is not based on what you have. So don't, don't kill yourself over what is not necessary. Mm. Live your life one time at, at a moment. time. Okay, uh, Doc, you know, as we just talked, you know what came to my mind? That you don't need to compare yourself with somebody else. You know, for example, everybody travels on the airport road, but everybody's not going to the airport. <laughs> somebody uh, somebody <laughs> goes to Guagualada. Somebody's going to Lugbe. Some, somebody goes to Lugbe. Piacasa. Somebody's going to Piacasa. And somebody's <laughs> traveling to US. And that one is going to Europe. And that one is going to Asia. And that one. But all even, of us. If all of us are the airport, we are the airport. We're not going to the same direction. We can even enter the same plane. plane. Right now. Yes. Let's say we enter Emirates yes. from Abuja here. Uh -huh. It doesn't mean we're all going to the same destination. No. Somebody no, will drop in Dubai. Dubai. Some people so, will take off. Some people will go to China. <laughs> so it's very important for you to know life is not competition. Shine your shine and shine my shine. Allow me to shine. Stop comparing yourself. You know another thing I find out? When you stay in an estate, maybe block or flat, you have this block of flat, then you stay, you are staying in an estate. All of a sudden, you see your neighbor's uh, children, they are going to a particular school. And you don't know that the money in which your, that, uh, that woman is using or the man is using to pay the children's school fees was the house the father left for her before he died. And both of you are working in the same office. Then you now say, my mate, my, my school, my, 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 my mate children are going to that school. Not knowing that you might be classmate, you might be office mate, but you are not grace mate. And if you don't understand your grace, you will be disgraced. It's very important for you to know, life is not competition. See somebody riding a car. You know, that was how a, a guy went to meet a lady. And told the lady that there's into cars. 
The lady did not ask, what are you into about cars? The guy was, uh, was washing, well, the, the, the guy is a car washer. <laughs> it's into cars. So the lady from there fell in love with this guy that does car wash. He thought he was a car dealer. They finished and got married because the guy will always go anytime people bring car to come and watch. You carry one of the car to go and visit. She just assumed. After the marriage, only for her to find out that the person she married to is a car washer, not a car dealer. He's into cars. He's into cars. This thing that you just said reminded me of something. Several years ago, mm. um, when my children were still much younger, and uh, the, 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 the school that they were to go to, mm. I have a friend whose school, whose children were going to, I mean, one of these top private schools yeah. in town. And I was working with FCDO. Mm -hmm. And the salary, my salary, will just pay one tap for one of my children. Mm -hmm. One tap. Uh, so I said, I can't afford it. The, it's the school I can't afford. I can't afford it. Mm -hmm. So I'm not going to send my children there. Do you know, one day, the children were in the house with mine, and they were looking at the note, and they said, wait a minute, it's everything they have been taught now that my children too have been taught. Oh. I said, so it's not the school. Mm -hmm. Now, I'm not saying don't send your child to a school that you have to pay high. Yeah. If you have to pay high, pay it. For value. But, but listen, don't kill yourself Self. about what you can afford. Mm. What you can afford is what you go for. Yeah. I said, no, I can't. My friend's children may be going to that school. Mm. Just like you said. Yeah. You, what you don't know. Listen, there's no mate in life. There's no mate in life. You can be classmate. That does not mean you are mate in life. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. Yes. You can be classmate. Yes. You can be schoolmate. Yeah, it can be everything. You can even be height mate. Yeah. But you don't know what the other person is enjoying that you don't have. That you don't have. Like you said, you don't know whether the parents have left that person. Yes. Okay.